Hello, my name is Jadel Simon and you're welcome to East Central, where I bring you conversations from entertainers on their A-game across Africa. Today, I have a literal trailblazer in the house as my guest. Welcome to Mize Imo, welcome to East Central. Good to have you again. Thank you for having me, Jadel. Again. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I mean, the last time we were here, I was here singing your praises of, you know, how you are an amazing actor. And then the next thing I go on social media and I see Strawberry Chini, your debut production. Tell me, how and when did you decide, you know, to start a career in, you know, the industry as a producer? As a producer, um, <sighs> I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I just wasn't sure when, and I had them um, taking on roles that were so deep and emotional and whatnot. And I, I was a bit bored of them, and I wanted to do something just chilled relaxed back, you know, and rom-com, you know. So I said, you know, if I'm not going to get cast for a rom-com anytime soon, I have to create make my... Make it happen. Huh? Tell you me know. about, if you're not going to get the <laughs> stage, I'll beauty myself. Yeah, so uh, my partner and I, um, Kele, we had the company together. We decided to do something, you know, um, Strawberry Chini and um, Cheta came on board as a director. And now you, know, you have your own production company. Yes, by God's grace, you could, you could call, you could call and it And I can't wait to um, actually watch Strawberry Chini when it is out. I can't wait for people to, to um, watch it. I was very skeptical about it. I thought it wasn't great. Yeah, but we put, put out the trailer after the selection. Um, it got for the um, Black um, Film Festival in New Orleans and the reception has been really, really encouraging and I can't wait for people to see it. Okay, well done. Thank you. So Chimizi, I mean, I was having a conversation with my colleagues earlier and we're talking about Breath of Life and everybody kept on singing your praises. So, you know, that brings me to this question. When the AMBCA nominations were out, your fans, me and one of your fans and my colleagues, we were literally looking out for your name in the nominations. When you didn't get a nomination, I want to know, take me into your, into your mind. Did you feel some type of way? What, what, was, what was going on in your head at that moment? Um, f first of all, all praises to God. Don't sing my praises, sing, sing <laughs> God's praises, okay. because um, he's the reason I'm here. I'm doing what I love to do. And I'm, 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 I'm forever grateful to um, African Magic and the AMVCA for creating such a platform to um, acknowledge people's um, talent. I, I, I ever would never feel um, entitled to any nomination or award because it could be anybody and should be anybody, you know. But I was very grateful that um, Breath of Life got so much recognition because a lot of um, work, blood, sweat was put into it. So a win for any category for Breath of Life or nomination is a win for me as far as I'm concerned. Because as a leading actor in that film, it means a lot that the film was being recognized. But I was surprised to see that people, you know, felt a certain way about me not getting nominated. Yes, I know. felt a certain way. <laughs> yeah, I went on social media. My, my manager, you know, was tagging me, was sending stuff to me. I'm like, oh my God, can they stop? I appreciate it, but can yeah. they stop? Like, it's not. It's never that deep. It's never that deep. I mean, if you don't get it today, you get it tomorrow. If you don't get it tomorrow you get it next tomorrow because I'm, I'm in this game or I'm in this, I'm in this for the long run. I'm not here for a short time to get popular or got famous. You know, I'm doing this till every teeth in my mouth falls out. So there'll always be a time for awards or nomination. And if God says it's now, then so be it. Okay, so let's talk about the trail pleaser. There's something I have on my notes here. I want to read it. I want to read this out. So for people who do not know, I know you already know, but I, I still want to emphasize. A trailblazer is someone who pioneers new paths or methods, often in their respective fields. They possess innovation, courage, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. Trailblazers don't just follow existing routes. They create new ones, inspiring others to follow. Hello, trailblazer. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I want read. to know. I want to know. What does this award mean to you? How did you feel when you heard your name as the trailblazer? Um, I was surprised because, you know, um, for the AMVCA, the trailblazer award is you don't get nominated. It's, it's the surprise award of the day. And um, 
um, because of scheduling um, issues, I almost didn't attend the award, but I had to because I wanted to support Breath of Life, you know. And to have my name called, you know, it's like walking into an award show as a non-nominee and going and back home I mean, as a winner, you know. I was surprised and I was just, um, it was just surreal for me, you know, like, is this really happening? Is this how I'm going to win my first MVCA without a nomination, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I never thought this was how it's going to happen, you know? And I was just, I just felt blessed. I felt, um, it felt good to be seen, you know, and... and sort of like giving an incentive for your yes, work. Yes, and appreciated. And I really, really thanked God and um, the entire Breath of Life team, every director, producer who have worked with me, you know, and um, it felt, it, it did feel good. I, I, I must be honest, and also humbling because for me, to whom much is given, much is expected. The work just started, you know. So winning the Trailblazer for me, or I, I wouldn't say winning it means certain thing, but being an actor or being a trailblazer for what the word means mm -hmm. is always um, encouraging people and um, making things that are not right, you know, right. Like in my company, I, I said to everyone, look, whenever we we're funding films or by our own, we would always give um, back ends to the top actors and crew members, you know, not just pay them off, you know. So I tried to change the status quo, you know, in terms of how things are being wrong. So they were not you know. wrong to call you a trailblazer. <laughs> I mean, I just, because, because yeah. I've experienced these things yeah. and I feel like it could be better, it can be better. So why don't we make it better? You know, the change, this change we, we speak about, it, it starts with us and it starts with me. You know, and, and that's basically, you know, how it feels and what it means to me. Amazing. So I've always been curious, you know, do you think that as entertainers or as an entertainer, um, awards are like a defining moment for your career? Do you awards? think? Awards? Yeah. Do you think that it's okay to just be an entertainer that's never received an award and that's okay? Oh, um, no, awards are never a defining um, moment for a career. it does something to your CV. It does feel good to have, have that um, plaque. I remember, um, Two days ago, after the award, I went for a quick interview and was like, someone was like, oh, where is your award? <laughs> I'm like, it's still in my bag. I haven't taken it out of the bag. Really? It's still yes. You know, because um, for me, it's always what is next. You know, forget about the praises because people yeah. who would sing your praises would sing your, <laughs> your other song, you know, when, when that time yes. comes. You know what True. I mean? You know, so for me, it's always what is next after this, you know, so it's never a different finding moments, you know, so to speak. It feels great to win an award. Um, price might go up sometimes, not all the time. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you know, recognitions here and there, congratulatory messages, you'd get me for a week or two, you know, but I think putting in the work and the consistency in the work that you put, it's what defines um, um, your moment as a creative, because at the end of the day, everyone who was nominated in every category at the NBC deserved to win. That's what I thought. But they just, they can give everyone a plaque. It has to be one person. It doesn't mean, oh, you have the plaque, your, 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 um, your career is defined. And More than don't another have, person. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys know. can go to the bar. Yes, you know, it's about putting in the work, being mm -hmm. consistent, and just, you know, keep, you know, keep moving forward. You know, and I'm, I'm really, really... People, people inspire me when I see them act, you know, according to that, you know. So it's never a, a, a defining moment, so to, so to speak. So your you advice know, is it shouldn't be? It shouldn't be. It, it's never, you know, you, you can't win an award and just sit in, in, in your house. The award's going to come back next year. So what happens? Sure. <laughs> and you're not going to, someone else is going to be the, I mean, mm -hmm. you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Someone else is going to be the trailblazer. So I'm just going to sit in the, in the comfort of winning an award and you yeah, know the work the work just started you know the work it never ends because we're in this for the long run it's not just about the plaques or the awards you know you just have to keep going and you know keep moving forward and keep working because work speaks louder than awards true it speaks louder true. than awards i mean from actor to producer what's next what should we say oh so a so, book? so I'm much expecting more a book? <laughs> <laughs> i know you didn't say that but yeah who knows Okay, who knows? I said who it knows? first. Yeah, you said, said it, it first, <laughs> actually. I mean, there's so much yeah. in me that I think God has 
um, gifted me that I, I think um, the world should see, you know, because I think that's why I'm in this industry to to touch as many lives as possible. This might sound cliche, but I believe that's why I'm here, you know, and whatever platform or whatever way that I can possibly do that, be it acting, be it producing, be it directing, be it being an author or a singer or a dancer, you know, it's all, it's, a, it's, it's all in the arts, you know, it's all in the arts. Why did I laugh when you said dancer? Yeah, I mean, it's all in the art. Actors sing, singers act, dance, dancers act. It's, I, it's just I imagined you dancing. Oh, you, you're going to see it someday. <laughs> okay. You're going to see it someday. So it's, it's, it, it's, it's a wide range of, you know, talent that's sitting right in front of you. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm I not just see. an actor. <laughs> I can see. So Maisie, I really want to know, you know, your, your career seems to be rising very fast. And you, you're sort of like the center of attention now in the industry, or like you're one of the center of attentions in the industry. Um, amidst the fame, the limelight, what is most important to you in life? I do not take being happy for granted. Um, I love happiness, because at the end of the day, that's what you have for yourself as a person, you know, finding your happiness and, and what I do makes me happy and that's one of the reasons I do them, you know. So uh, I, I do not take um, finding happiness and I tell people, friends who are close to me, find your own happiness, create your, your own happiness because that's what you, you have to hold on to. After they say cut on set and you get home, how do you feel when you're alone, you're off the camera, how, how are you feeling? You know, so I do not, I do not take, you know, finding your own happiness uh, for granted. Okay, thank you. So, Maisie, we did this the last time. Right. I'm giving you another chance to redeem yourself. I can never <laughs> redeem my. If it's that game. <laughs> because the last time you failed woefully. If it's that game. You, I may, I, see, I literally made it easier. I was telling myself, look, see, let's just make it easier so you will not have any complaints whatsoever. Okay, let's make it easier this time. Maisie, you we? can try. There's just I'll, three questions. Oh, Give it your best shots. I'll try. <clears throat> So the first one is, um, in 2013, the first recipient of the AMBCA Trailblazer Award was? In 2013. 13. Yes. Ivi Okujaye. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. a fan of her. We okay. worked together. I can remember we worked together just um, a year before she won that award. So oh. I, it's, yeah, Ivi Okujaye. Ah, a huge a fan of hers, by the way. I love this her. This is a miracle. <laughs> Okay, so another one is um, the chief assistant to the gaffer, who is the head of the electrical department responsible for the lighting on set, is called. Please read it slowly. Stop, <laughs> stop trying to confuse me. Okay, fine. The chief assistant to the gaffer, who is the head of the electrical department responsible for the lighting on set. So, so, so like uh, the assistant. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought that's uh -huh. the gaffer. I'm hearing the, the chief assistant of the gaffer. Oh, there's someone. He's popular. The best boy. Maybe you're lost. Hey, God, the world will hear about you this. You cannot confuse me. <laughs> the world will hear about this. We call them gaffers and set. They're, they're, also, they're also best boys. Oh, I just learned, I'll just, I just, so just I just learned guys, something new today. Me, something new. Mezier says he doesn't regard you people. He doesn't no, know no, you no, people. No, 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 no. If you're not a gaffer, goodbye. Just go no, and no, sit we, down. We regard them. I mean, we call them gaffers and set. Mm, you know, so. Okay. Best boy, okay. So there's not one. me calling someone best boy and they won't ask me. They'll be like, who is best boy? <laughs> So there's one last one. One last one. Please get it right. Who was the female lead actor in the Nigerian movie World Apart? Should know now. Iniedo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's because World Apart um, is one of those films, yes. you know, that I really, really enjoyed watching. I, I, I remember some of the words in it, the actors in it, you know. And I remember Iniedo in it was like one of the films that sort of brought her, you know, into limelight. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was, but. Probably one of yes. those films. For me, I think yeah. that that's how yes. I recognize it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you. I had an amazing time on set. If you see, my price has gone up too. Please. I interviewed a trailblazer. My price. Pay how much she asked for. Did you hear? <laughs> All right, guys, I did have an amazing time on set with Chimeze Imo. It was an interesting conversation. We hope to see you next time again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you.